Welcome back to the ICF Mountain House build. It is 7 a.m. this morning, a uh, beautiful morning, nice pink sunrise coming up over the hill behind me here. Today is pour day, finally, for our elevated concrete porches and deck. We've been working on this for a few months, getting everything ready, getting the metal deck pan down. For those of you who've been watching, um, you've all been kind of anticipating the pour as, as we have. So it's a little nerve wracking. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. We hope nothing goes wrong. A lot of risk, a lot of money involved, but we've got a good crew and I think we have enough guys. We've got uh, three trucks lined up to come 30 minutes apart, starting at 8 a.m. So we've got one hour to get everything else ready. Uh, we're pouring 24 yards, 4,000 PSI, two inch pump mix. So there'll be a small aggregate, a lot, lot of cement. Should be a pretty solid pour. Uh, which is good because they're calling for seven days of rain starting tomorrow. And with the weather we've got right now, I think it's like the perfect sweet spot. So if they get it laid down, we get a little bit cured, and then it kind of stays wet over the next few days with the, uh, con with the uh, rain, that's actually pretty good for it. So it kind of let lets it cure a little bit more uh, slowly. So we're gonna get going here. Uh, special thanks to Ariat for sponsoring today's episode. We appreciate their support and their clothes. They're awesome. Let's get to work. Good to me. Yeah. 
There you go. You good? Yeah. Like when you do it. Go. Good. Go. That's the later half. Did you want it below that threshold? Yep, that's fine right there. Okay. Chalk line so we know where to pour to. Need to get going, that second truck already got here. Not a lot of rock in that. Hey Mike, yeah. if you come up here again, throw that drum down. Get the thing off, throw that down. Get the hell out of it. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> well, that's pretty smart. I never saw anybody use that. Use a saw to do that. That's pretty cool. It worked better than that big vibrator I got. <laughs> and it takes it. I can feel it. We've got two trucks here. We're about a third of the way through the first truck. Two inch pumps run pretty slow. But the concrete looks good. The mix looks good. Forms are holding. They're doing it. They're doing a good job. And there's the third truck. <laughs> Tighten up a little bit.
over about seven. Give me number about seven inches. I'll try, but I got to go. Get up on it. like 10 times faster to be able to pour straight from the truck than to try and pump it. I just, this is like basically the final smoothness, you know. Right. It goes from smooth to he smooths it out with the machine, and then we get the flaws from the thing. Yep. And then you walk all over it. And then you walk all over it. Do it again. Yep. <laughs> so the plan was we were going to pour two inches above the top rib, which would have given us a five inch slab. We ended up pouring an extra two inches. So. This is a seven to seven and a half inch thick slab. And we were very, 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 very close on the amount of concrete we ordered. So, but it's better because it's closer to the threshold. 
and uh, it's all good. It's like extra strength. Everything's holding, which was my concern, but they weren't concerned. They do this all the time, so. It's looking really good. It's coming along and it's only not even noon yet, maybe noon. So yeah, should be able to get this done in the, in one day, like I hoped. Because originally we thought about pouring at three different pours. That would have been a nightmare. This worked out really good. My daughter, she used to live in Black Mountain. And when she first moved up there, the locals told her, so she likes to run and she runs through the trails. And she said all the locals told her, if you run into a bear, said make yourself look as big as you can. <laughs> so anyway, she was running one day on the trails and said she turned the corner and said, sure enough, there was a big bear. She said it was big, just right there. And I said, what'd you do, Dale? Cause she usually took her dogs with her, but she didn't that day. And she said, she done like this. And said that bear looked at her and turned around and walked away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This has been the most stressful part of this entire build. I would say the second most part would have to be putting in the well to see if we could even build here in the first place. But we had a lot of money invested into this build up to this point, and everything was uh, centered around this porch because if it would have collapsed, it would have been a major disaster, a major cleanup and major money that we would have lost and had to reinvest into it to try and get things right. Um, but so far, everything's going really well. We have a really good team working on this, some really good concrete and uh, we should be wrapping it up here within the next couple hours. <laughs> Damn. about 68 degrees now. This has turned out to be a beautiful, perfect day for this pour. The mix was just right. They got the timing down. Just finishing floating it and uh, finish brooming this side. Should be good to go. I'm done. Oh. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah. These boys put it in and yeah, got right. uh, got this thing done. They got everything broomed off. It looks gorgeous. I'm really happy. Um, Jonas, Anthony, and the two mics. Yep. And two two mics. mics. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks to Mathis for bringing us concrete again. Always on time. Pretty good stuff. Uh, and special thanks again to Ariat for sponsoring today's episode. Slab is done, man. And thanks to Mike. Uh, Benfield too. That's yeah, Mike Benfield pumped the, pump the concrete it. for us. Nope. Yeah. Anybody else? 
Yeah. That's about it. It's definitely a team effort. These guys did a kick-ass yeah. job, and we really appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. All right. That's it. Thank you. Good deal.